everybody, welcome back to our beginner's guide to serging. In this episode, we're gonna learn all about the rolled edge. The best thing about a rolled hem is not only that it's easy to create, but that it's easy and beautiful. It's also versatile in that it can be casual and low key, or bold and eye-catching, or even elegant and formal. To create a rolled edge, you only need one needle. Whether you use your right or left needle depends on how wide or narrow you want your edge to be. The left needle will create the widest edge and the right needle will create the most narrow edge. The first thing you want to do is switch your stitch finger from the S setting, which is the standard setting, to the R setting, which is the rolled setting. If your machine doesn't have a retractable stitch finger, then you need to install a special rolled hem needle plate. The trick to creating a rolled hem is to increase your lower looper tension to its highest setting, which for me is a 9. And you just start surging like any old stitch. Right now I'm using my left needle to create a wide edge. My stitch width is about a 4, my stitch length is at a 3. A rolled edge really stands out when you use a shorter stitch length. When I reduce the stitch length, less of the fabric edge shows and I get a more decorative look. The shortest stitch on my machine is the F setting and it creates a really filled in rolled edge. This uses up more thread, but it looks really cool, especially when you use nylon thread. Because nylon thread is thicker, it really fills in the gaps between the threads. Now if you want a subtle rolled edge, switch to your right needle. Not only does your right needle create a super thin edge, but it's also how you switch to a two thread rolled edge, which saves you a ton on thread and reduces the bulkiness of your seam. Not all machines are two thread compatible, but if yours is, it should come with a two thread converter slash spreader, which is inserted into the upper looper. With a two thread rolled edge, you're only using the lower looper and the right needle. The upper looper is disengaged by inserting the spreader. Again, not all machines have this feature, but if your machine does, you'll find it's a great stitch, especially with nylon thread. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you want to hang out with our sewing community, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline, Twitter at sewingparts, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, we're everywhere, and be sure to subscribe by clicking that button below for next week's sewing video.